So moving to Costa Rica or living in Costa Rica and how ready are you to accept and adapt change? That is the topic of today. Yes, this is a video uh, from uh, Costa Rica. My name is Muriel. I live in Costa Rica since 2018. I am, uh, I moved from the Netherlands and for me, Costa Rica was completely new. I adapted a lot like living life in Costa Rica. Uh, living here, living my life has nothing to do with living in the Netherlands. So I noticed that there are some, some people thinking about living in Costa Rica, moving to Costa Rica, who forget about some essential stuff in the mind to make your move a success. And it has nothing to do with finding the ideal house or having people helping you with logistics and how to ship stuff. No, it has to do with how you think about stuff that is not happening the way that you're planning. So I'm gonna just share some thoughts with you who is interested in that. If you're not, then just you're welcome to not watch. Uh, so a little bit more about myself and why I feel so determined to make these videos on my channel is because, uh, well, first of all, I'm an Costa Rica expat. So some call it immigrant. I don't mind how you call it, but I do know that a lot of people are searching for information about Costa Rica living by the word Costa Rica expat. So that's why I'm using this word as well. It's called a keyword so I can reach more people. I am that myself and I came to Costa Rica with a dream and I also learned so much. Um, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider to do that by clicking one of the little squares on the screen. You can hit subscribe and the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video or scroll down to the description below also to subscribe but to learn more about what more that I do, what else do I do, how I make my living. Um, and some other stuff, some tips. So what I've learned is that um, I've seen people come and go. People who were planning on living in Costa Rica, they came, they arranged everything with help, they found a house, they and they left within the year. Well, what happened there? Of course, there's several scenarios and I don't know them all. What I do know is that the essence of leaving has nine of the 10 times to do with the lack of um, um, adapting uh, and going with change. So they came, a couple of scenarios, they came to Costa Rica to live there. And in a couple of years, a lot of stuff changed. So now they don't like it anymore. For example, more people came and live in their neighborhood. They bought a piece of land and it was empty around them. And now it's fully built. Um, it was quiet. Now there's noise, etc, uh, etc. Et and I hear people complaining about that. And I'm not, this is, I'm not labeling if it's right or wrong. I'm just observing. There's people I know, they came here 35 years ago and they they share me stories. They share stories with me. Like I was surfing and I was the only one in the ocean. And now I'm full over the tourists um, and, and new people. And I'm sick and tired of it. But at the same time, they run a restaurant and they are uh, meeting clients to buy their products in the restaurant and, you know, have a fully occupied restaurant and stuff. And so they make their living also based on more people. So it's so double. So, but you know, the lack of, um, that you that you can grow with changes and development the lack of understanding that life is all about change nothing stays the same it's the essence of life if you get that it makes it m maybe easier for you to decide uh, not to make it so complicated for yourself because if you know that you're a very rigid person you maybe should not decide to move to a country like Costa Rica because there things change all the time. Nothing is really perfect here. Like literally like stuff is the logistics of banking and getting from A to B is messy, right? Uh, it's the essence of life in Costa Rica, but also how no matter how badly you want something to go according to your rules and values, you can never ever um, uh, master all the cir or rely on circumstances because it's not of your power. In your power, what is happening around you. You don't owe circumstances. The only thing that you uh, own is how you reply to circumstances. So really, really rigid people, 
I believe it's very risky to move to a country like Costa Rica. But in life and business, like I'm a life and business coach, I also see it with people who want to change their income, their way of work. Uh, they hold on, they want to change, they want to make more and work less, but they're unwilling or not able to change their values, to change their thinking, to change their actions, so results will stay out. So they're not able to grow and to change because they themselves hold on to their old self. <laughs> So uh, I have also had some um, replies of locals who were stating and pointing fingers, and this is not a label what's wrong or right, I'm just observing that due to a lot of foreigners moving and living in Costa Rica, moving to or living in Costa Rica, uh, they, are the res they are responsible for getting hiring up prices and stuff. Uh, but I think that's just one part of the coin, right? It is a change, like migration is happening all over the world, right? There, you, do you know how many people on earth are living? So with all the technology that we all have access to, planes are going from A to B, um, inter, you know, social media is connecting people together. People are more likely to discover there is a world out there at the other side of the globe that like hundreds of years ago they would not know how it looked like but now thanks to like youtube you can watch videos about costa rica and costa rica living and moving to costa rica because you have the media and the software and the resources to you basically the world is bigger right now so it's kind of a logical re uh, um, result that people are g moving to other countries moving abroad and it's kind of rigid i believe to just stick to how it was and just stating the way it was before was always better you know times are changing uh, the, the world is bad right now because it's not how it used to be that's basically ignoring the essence of life which is always changing like the human body it's changing every single micro microsecond of the day so this is more like a philosophical philosophy a philosophy kind of approach to some problems that I see with people who have been moving to Costa Rica and, and are not happy. Perhaps you you overlooked that you have to adapt to new circumstances of life. And also the people already lived here, locals, I don't know, Ticos, Ticas, but people also expats who live here or immigrants who live here for 35 years are complaining about how things are changing except that it's the essence of life. There is millions and millions of more people existing right now than 35 years ago. So you can hold on to, it is how it should be, this is how it should be, but that you don't own the circumstances. The growth of humankind is happening. There's more of us compared to a lot of years ago. So yeah, this is, I love this interesting topic. This is what I picked my brain and my students brain about you know you want change like how do you deal with adapting to new circumstances or you know how do you approach change with the glass half full or the glass half empty and you know you are the only one who can make the decision to move to Costa Rica yes or no or to define if your life is a happy life or if you're unhappy that's not up to anyone else you are the master of your own choices right but perhaps my video helps you to determine if coming to a country as Costa Rica is for you. And then especially moving to Costa Rica is something that you could deal with or are you going to be burned out like within the year because sometimes there's no water. No matter how beautiful the house is that someone arranged for you, in every beautiful house, sometimes there is no water if you don't have a pump or a well or whatever. But then sometimes those systems stop working because they break and you need to call someone and you ending up with also being a household with sometimes having no water. Welcome in the life of Costa Rica. It's what I uh, conquer, it's what I see. Sometimes there's no Wi-Fi or sometimes there is something not working out the way that you plan. But I think if you learn how to deal with change and always stay possible, you will approach every challenging situation with a smile. And that is basically giving peace of mind um, prevents stress and stress is something that you want to avoid. You don't want to live a stressful life, not when you don't have a lot of finances because stress is what's eating people up, not the lack of money. The same as when you want to make more money and work less. 
learning how to do it is possible, but don't stress out about it. Don't freak out if I point out to my links below my videos, because I am teaching people to build online businesses. Don't stress out or be angry if this is not your thing. But I feel obligated to share people what is possible for those who are open to learn that. And if you don't like it, don't create stress for your own system by being angry that this is my mission and I will always share videos about this. So yeah, I create Costa Rica content from the angle as well. What mindset do you need to live a happy life in Costa Rica? But also how to build um, great finances for a life in Costa Rica. So I leave it up to you what you're going to do with that. My dogs, my dogs are saying hi, so it's a good moment to end my video. I love to hear from you. How do you, for example, for example, how do you find your life in Costa Rica? Do you have some stuff to add? Uh, share them down below in the comments. I love hearing from you. Bye from all the dogs who are playing around on the field. Let me show you. I can show you what's happening. There they are. Where are they? Running around. Running around the tree. <laughs> uh, see you soon. Ciao.